We just did an outside puzzle. Wasn't that a fun thing to do for the evening? He said no. Hi, my name is Brittany. Hey guys, I'm Andy. And I am going to be doing the Huga Challenge. I love Huga. I really believe in the concept. I actually didn't know much before this opportunity, but I'm really excited to start this experience. I'm gonna be talking to a Huga expert and she's going to be personalizing Huga activities and setting me up for Huga success. The word Huga does not translate directly in English. And basically what it means is kind of a, a coziness and a contentment in the moment, enjoying the moment, being grateful for that moment, and a celebration of the small things. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Andy. Hi, Brittany. How are you today? I've been waiting for this moment. Awesome. So tell me what you know about Huga. I became obsessed with it a few years ago in just the sense of it sounds really cozy and comfortable and that's the life I'm trying to live. The nice thing about Huga, it can create kind of a system for sanity and centeredness and calmness. Now, what kinds of things are you doing right now to kind of make yourself feel better? Sometimes I'll like play really upbeat music, baked a lot of cookies. I like to take baths or showers to like really calm my mental state down. You know, Andy, it sounds like you have a lot of very natural huga things that you're doing, like a huga toolkit. What's going on for you emotionally that you think huga can help you with? I hope that huga can help being more present. There's a lot going on in the world and I definitely want to be actively engaged in that, but I, I also want to like at the end of the day, turn off my phone, curl up, be really present and like make that time and space for me. You have a very smart awareness of the power of mental health and how you have to put your own oxygen mask on first before you can help the world. I'm excited though to go further with you. It's day one of my Huga challenge and the first thing I need to do is plan a dinner party. I just created my e-bite and it's super cute. I'm really excited to send it off to my friends and see who RSVPs. First day is pretty light and easy, but we'll see how the rest of the week goes. I feel very overwhelmed and stressed out. Putting an e-bite together isn't stressful, but maybe making a food will be. But hopefully it's fun. It's it's supposed to be fun. It's really a toss up. This could be really fun or this could be really stressful. I am feeling a little bit down, but I get to walk outside today and it is gorgeous out. So I'm really excited and I'm sure that will put a smile on my face. Part of the challenge was to find five beautiful things and take a photo of them. I live in a residential neighborhood. So I was really like, what am I gonna see? I'm not on a hike where everything's beautiful, it's just sort of houses. But I started noticing things that I walk by all the time, like plants or flowers, just even tiny little small buds that I wouldn't have noticed otherwise. So it was actually a really kind of nice, calming exercise. I'm already in a better mood and it's not even 10 a.m. yet. I usually listen to music on walks. So without listening to music, that was a challenge. I get distracted easily. I think having music to me is more of like putting me in the moment and zen out. I am starting my new bedtime routine. About 30 minutes before, I did a 10 minute sleep meditation. Meditation station. And that was really nice and relaxing. I left my phone out of the bedroom for the night and it was mostly fine. I did kind of wake up and panic and miss it and I was like, did I oversleep my alarm? I think it will take some getting used to. I'll be decluttering my closet. So I have a lot of shoes that I could probably give away. So I'm going to go through them right now. So I got rid of three pairs of shoes, which is a great start. Part of my challenge was to find sort of a corner of my house that I can kind of turn into a really nice, relaxing Kuka space. I'm gonna take a 20 minute break in my day and I'm gonna sit and sort of just like sit with my thoughts, with my hookah book, and just be present and try to be comfortable. Ricky really likes the huga, and I think we're here for the rest of the day. Today, I'll be baking, so wish me luck. 
I challenged myself to bake something without a recipe, but just things that I had, and it failed miserably. Even my boyfriend was like, that's disgusting. But then I ended up reviving that for myself, and I baked really good blueberry muffins with like a cinnamon crumble on top. It was very, very good. So I have my coffee, and I have my note cards. So I'm gonna write some thank yous to my loved ones. I'm a about a week into the challenge and I can honestly say that my mental health has really started to improve. I feel lighter, I feel like I'm able to focus a little bit more and take a little time and really reflect on the positive things that you have going on in your life and feel grateful for those moments and create little moments for yourself to bring a little bit more happiness into your day. Today I get to make my own bath salts. I never really thought of using bath salts or bath bombs or anything and actually creating those really helped enhance my bath time, which I always choose to take a bath. So bath time has been a lot more fun. <laughs> I'll be playing a card game with my boyfriend. My partner and I did a puzzle for the first time and it was really nice to have an activity that wasn't just turning on the TV. We played our favorite, Jim Rummy. Wasn't that a fun thing to do for the evening? He said no, but I had a good time. I've been taking a lot more moments for myself and I've been working on having about 10 minutes a day to meditate. Sometimes it's at night, before bed. Yesterday I did a 10 minute stretch, which was really, really great. It really opened up my hips. And today I'm gonna do a little like 10 minute gratitude meditation. Today I'll be making two playlists. One that is upbeat and exciting, and the other one that is mellow and for meditation. I love country music to Broadway to K-pop. I have one huge playlist, but separating them when I was in a certain mood, I could go to that playlist rather than trying to find that certain music. So I have some crazy weeds living in my garden. So today I'm going to be pulling them out. As you can see, it's not perfect. There's still a long way to go, but I feel like I made a really good step towards improvement. It's actually really nice to feel accomplished. But right now I'm covered in pollen, so I'm going to take a shower. I'll be journaling for 30 minutes about anything, free writing. I never really journaled before. Trying to write down random stuff that comes to my mind is a really great way to vent in a way that no one hears it, <laughs> except for the paper. I made a donation to the Marsha P. Johnson Institution in honor of Black Lives Matter and Pride Month. And I am taking about an hour or two to call and write letters to politicians in response to what's going on in the world to let them know how I feel. It's really important to be actively engaged. Puga is about self-care, but it's also about other care. I'll be videoing with my two best friends. I'm really excited. I had my dinner party and it didn't go exactly as planned. One of my friends didn't cook till after our dinner party and another friend actually cooked before the dinner party. So I was the only one cooking and I had a hard time making things and chatting simultaneously. So I made a few mistakes along the way with my dinner, but it still turned out pretty good. A a few of my other friends were not around, but I got two to approve. Welcome to the party. They are friends of mine that don't usually interact with each other, but they've always wanted to meet each other, so this is a really cool way to bring everyone together. It definitely alleviated any anxiety or tension I had, so it was really nice to not only talk to my friends and catch up, but do an activity. Highly recommend, it was really fun. We gave you a bunch of things to do, Tell us what worked really well. There were moments where I felt really overwhelmed by my phone or just the outside world. It was really nice to leave my phone I'm in different rooms, even throughout the day. I've never really written things based on myself. So that was challenging for me. Going forward, it's definitely something that I will look towards because it's another way to clear my mind. What would you tell somebody else who wants to try some Hugify? Looking at little pieces of your life and asking yourself, what can I improve or where can I slow down? And how can I, you know, just engage with myself a little bit more? What difference do you see or feel in yourself now? I definitely feel more centered, more gratitude, more enjoyment out of little things. So 
no complaints here. I haven't been down in a while and I feel a lot lighter. I look forward to keep doing it and also maybe passing it down to friends or family.